Hello, everyone. Jim Graywolf Petruzzi here. I just wanted to spend a little time to talk about the Global Drums Gathering, uh, an event that we put up just a couple of weeks ago. Just tell you what's going on, tell you where it came out of, tell you what we think will come next. Not that we know, because this one is being guided by much bigger forces than any of us. But just to start it off, it is the Global Drums Gathering. If you haven't joined yet, go find our group and join up. We've got a lot of people there. This actually was a project started by uh, Dennis Vesayes in the Netherlands. And a few of us were asked by Dennis to help him uh, with some guidance on how he would set this up, which we did. <clears throat> and I was kind of guided to offer to work with him on this and invite people in to do the drumming, not knowing where it would go. It's now set up for August 8th. It is going to be a flowing um, drum circle. So we invite everyone, wherever you are on the planet, to start drumming at 11, 11 a.m. your time. However, we will also have different groups um, streaming things at different times. Ours, for example, will be at 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time US. Before I get to that though, who is doing this? Well, once we open the doors, people just started to flood in. We have somewhere between us all now, between Dennis and our major group, which is the water protectors of the, of the um, drumming gathering uh, and others. Um, we have several other groups going on. We have Chalice and um, Christopher down in New Zealand with a lot of groups. Oh, we got the Owl Wings group, Robin, Robin Youngblood. Oh boy, we have others as well. I'm drawing a blank. Oh, we have Cheryl, Cheryl Cassell out in Hawaii, who's gonna have a very special one. And my spiritual daughter, Rebecca Simpson in Sedona who's gonna open our drumming at 11.11. Between us, we have um, somewhere over 2,700 people involved. And we have over 250 drum circles on top of that. It's going to be a remarkable, amazing day. It's already shown that. What are we drumming for? And this is one of the things I wanted to talk about now. Dennis and I talked again today just to make sure we were in alignment. And very shortly, we'll be putting up a post. He and I will do a recording together just to combine the energies. We want all the energies around the globe to be combined. We have somewhere between 40 and 50 countries represented now and most of the continents, if not all. So we wanna make sure this is all synced. Another beautiful new friend showed up today um, who does this professionally these sorts of huge events. And she has offered to help. So you will see changes as we go along, but all for the good, definitely all for the good. So what is this about? Well, we're getting a lot of people ask, um, can we do this to support this project, a water project, um, something around this horrible, horrible thing going on with the young children being found in the, in the graves in Canada and soon in the US. Uh, and a lot of other projects that are out there. The way this was conceived was uh, this is to drum for love, light, peace, and unity. This is a healing, a healing. It's going to probably go on for 24 hours and it'll flow around the globe. But it's a healing for everybody and everything. Those of you who know the indigenous ways and the way I was trained, uh, you never pray for yourself. You don't need to. You pray for the circle. You pray for everyone. We're part of that circle. So we are praying for ourselves. You never ask for healing for yourself. Same thing. You ask for healing for the circle. That's what this is about. We want unity. We want love. We want light. We want peace. We do want water involved. Many of the places that will be drummed at are water-based. And we have our friends at the World Water Law who are involved. <clears throat> we'll do more of that too on the day of. And we want to honor all these other things, but we don't want to be sidetracked. 
We want to send all this energy out there. We want to connect with the Earth Mother. The drumbeat is the heartbeat of the Earth Mother. We want to connect to that. And from there, that goes out to all these other things. Let them all be healed. Let us, we humans, start getting back in alignment with the Earth. And so that's what it is about. That is the intention. You will hear more as we go along. There will be an agenda posted. Our group, for example, well, let me go before that. The first group that I'm aware of that will open will be the New Zealand group. <clears throat> and our beautiful friend Chalice um, and Christopher, they've got a lot of drum circles going on in New Zealand. They will be moving in like, I think 16 hours before we do. And those times will be posted. So will the links. We will have Zoom links. We will be doing live streaming. Uh, we're still looking for people to help facilitate some of this, but it's coming. We're not worried about it. Ours, uh, our group, um, Water Protectors, part of this, will start at 1111 on the 8th, Eastern Daylight Time. We've got um, not a lot of things. We don't want to we don't want to muddy up the works, as you will. We have Chief Phil Lane, who is going to do the opening prayer for us and some words. <clears throat> I'll talk a little bit about the project, what's going on, and probably open the seven directions. We have some beautiful um, prose and poetry from Angela Piercy, who is one of our inner circle, that needs to be shared. We have amazing pictures by Christopher Wesley. Um, that he will share, and it'll be accompanied, I believe, by some poems um, by Maya um, Shaw Gale, or Gale Shaw, I got that wrong. Uh, and then we have um, Pookie Lee will be doing uh, a little bit of a ceremony. Uh, I'm not sure what she'll be doing, a dance, a ceremony, uh, a song, whatever Pookie brings in, it's powerful. From there, we're gonna shift That'll start at about 9.30 in the morning, Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, a little before 11, we will shift to Sedona, Arizona, a huge sacred place, and turn it over to my daughter, Rebecca. Rebecca is taking us into some of the Red Rocks caverns there in Sedona, <clears throat> where she leads all kinds of ceremonies and teachings and all kinds of efforts. She will be live streaming for us. So we will, we will work with Sedona and that huge energy. And then I believe we turn it over to Robin Youngblood, who will be telling the drum story, who will probably be bringing in some of her drums. And then there'll be open mic times. The, the Zoom is, is available for those who ask. Uh, along about, I think, 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, whatever time that is in Hawaii, um, Cheryl and her group will be doing ceremony, will be drumming, We'll be working with the sacred waters of Hawaii. So that's some of what we do know. So that's enough of this for now. We want everyone to join. We want to rock this planet. We want to raise the vibration so high that it shakes a lot more people awake. We want this to be a good, positive thing. We want this to be about everything, healing the all, healing the all. So hold your special efforts in your heart, but work on healing everything. We're going to Work to heal the sacred hoop wherever it's broken. And it's certainly broken right now. Let's heal it together. Thank you for hearing me. More will be coming. Love and light to all of you. Oh.